and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Well, hi there, folks. I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. I'm Brad Heineck, physical therapist. We're the, the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Okay, we're going to show you how to relieve chest muscle pain, and that's the pectoralis major and minor. Yep. Uh, in 90 seconds. And avoid the most common mistake made. Absolutely, Bob, because this is uh, this something everyone should know. I think it's a very simple uh, approach, and we're going to show it to you. All right. By the way, if you're new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Also, go to bobandbrad.com. Go to the giveaway section. We're always giving something away. This week, we're giving away Bob and Brad exercise bands and also the wall anchors that go with them. Oh, yes. You can't go wrong with these, Bob. We, we really like these. <laughs> Get the knots out of it. There right. we go. <laughs> yeah, these are high quality. We we search the world over for the best quality. Oh, also, I'm going to quick mention. Oh, yeah. There's a blog we have, a blog uh, section on our website. And Deborah Rixo, she's a doctor to PT. She just she wrote an article on back and pelvic girdle pain in pregnancy and postpartum women. Right. So, yeah, if you're pregnant and you're having pain back there, Check it out. Yep. She's got an excellent writer and she's very knowledgeable. Yeah. Uh, also, you can go to Facebook. The contest will be pinned to the top of the page. Go to Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok if you want a 60 second version of our program. Outstanding, Bob. I'll clear these out, Brad. Yep. We got to have some room. So, uh, chest muscle pain, we have already mentioned. We're talking about the pectoralis major, you know. And the minor as well. Right. Uh, Probably the, mostly the major. Right? Yeah, most of the major. Uh, obviously not the heart muscles. So we're no cardiac information here whatsoever. Right. Uh, you want to make sure that you're not having chest pain due to a cardiac problem. Exactly. I mean, let's make sure that's been ruled out. Exactly. So, you know, the, the chest muscles, uh, if you strain the muscle, it's one of those that, you know, you've had a strain. I've actually, right now, I'm dealing with one right now from swimming, which is... is yeah, been, I remember been, you taking a massage to it every swim. Right, yeah. absolutely. We're going to talk about that a little bit. Uh, but first of all, let's talk about the anatomy, the location. We know the location, basically, but uh, we need to go a little more in depth and detail, particularly for the 90-second treatment that I'm going to show you in just a little bit. So here we're going to use Sam, and uh, I've got some kinesio tape here we're going to use as a, a model so we can demonstrate this. The green tape represents the lower fibers, uh, connects from the humerus down to the chest across. It's a big fan muscle. There isn't three particular sets. Then there's the middle fibers, which is the uh, orange, and then the red fibers. And the pec minor is buried underneath the pec major. Now, these are actual colors of <laughs> no, I'm joking. No, of course no, not. no. So we're looking at all this now. When you pull a muscle, typically you don't pull. I would say almost always you don't pull the whole, all the fibers across the whole fan of the muscle. It's typically a micro tear, a, a micro tear, or a few fibers in one of these locations. Right. A strain, exactly. That's what people call a strain. So keep that in mind when we show this 90 second treatment. So. Uh, you can see uh, as I'm bringing the arm out here how the fibers are starting to stretch. Which and is, as we said, the most common mistake. That's the mistake. You pull your chest muscle and you think, oh, I better stretch it. I got a, a muscle strain. So what people do is they start stretching. And what happens is you've already got a tore muscle, micro tears in it, maybe may, may, uh, macro tears. Right. And then you stretch it and you just re tear it or tear it worse. Do not do that. Allow it to heal. Give it some time. Work on our 90-second treatment. I'm going to show you. Again, not too long. Just be careful. Not or, only you're going to have to probably hold off on doing like bench press or uh, and push-ups yes. for a while. Right. Uh, anything that aggravates it. Flies. Yeah, flies. Flies are really going to get after it. Way back. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Okay. So keep this in mind. You're going to allow this muscle some rest time. Okay. So... Here it is, the 90-second treatment. Now, you could do this one in bed. Doesn't matter, carpeted floor. You know, you could do it on a hard floor if you want, but it's not that comfortable. Um, boy, you want to throw me the, the pillow right there, Bob? Get a pillow, get oh, comfortable. Yep, that one will be fine. I'm going to use a throw pillow. That's good. You could do this actually on your couch too, assuming if this would be the injured arm. The injured arm was away from the backrest. 
Okay, now remember, these fibers are going this way. In order to get this, it's called a positional release treatment or strain counter strain. We need to get the fibers of the muscle where it's injured as short as possible in a very relaxed and pain-free position. So in order to do that, I'm gonna take my arm and bring it over and this shortens the muscle fibers. And then because it's such a broad muscle, it's gonna make a difference whether I have my elbow here, up here, whether I rotate my arm in this way or out this way, it's probably gonna be more comfortable this way, but you'll know because you're gonna feel it. So, so get, they're gonna experiment basically. Exactly, uh, and you're the boss on this. There's no therapist that could tell you which position it is because you're gonna listen to your body. You're looking for the position that is the least amount of pain? Yep, exactly. Okay. Matter of fact, I'm gonna do this on my left side because that is the muscle that I'm particularly, I, I got a real minor problem with it. It's not a major so one. So that's why um, you can kind of move it around to see where yours feels the best. All right, so I'm gonna do it for real here. I go this way, so uh, actually up down here. That's and, where it feels best? Yep, there. Yeah, when I move my hand up there, it turned the pain off, it feels good. And now the critical part of this, and there's no cheating on this, you need to get a timer and you got to time this when you find that comfortable position, time it for 90 seconds, minimum. Uh, you can go up to 120 seconds, a couple minutes, or even a little longer, uh, but for sure 90 seconds. Uh, and that takes a little while. You'd be, be surprised how long 90 seconds takes, but if you're comfortable, you can just relax and breathe. I'm not gonna do that here because uh, it makes people bored. But when you get done with the 90 seconds or two minutes, then you're gonna slowly open it up. You're not gonna open up and start stretching aggressively whatsoever, but you're gonna open it up and then there's not gonna be any particular exercises or activity uh, for the next half hour or so. It's a time, you know, you can do some gentle massage in there to loosen it up. And you're gonna do that two or three times a day. You're, you're gonna know if this is the right thing because it's gonna feel good. It, what happens is the muscle, when it's at shortened uh, position, it allows it to relax. Completely. When it, yep, when it completely so. relaxed, blood flow gets to the injured area, and then your healing uh, is accelerated, and that's what we need. So, so I would think that you do wanna throw some massage in there eventually, though, too. Exactly, right? and you know, that may be within a day or two. Uh, you can start with massaging with your hand. The fibers, you know, go this way, this way, or this way. Uh, and, and mine, my fibers in here. I'm gonna go in there. So he's going cross. Across, yep. The fibers, the fibers run this way and he's going across yep. the fibers. And it, you can get in pretty deep, you know, depending on, you know, some of these guys got these massive right. pectoralis muscles. Uh, and You're that, kind of on the, in the armpit there a little bit. And yep, it and does that, go up into the armpit, it but does. it could be up here too. Yep, yep, it very well could be up here. Right. Um, so you're gonna work that cross friction from massage until your fingers get tired. As long as it doesn't irritate it, after 30 seconds of this, you're gonna assess it. Is it feeling better? Is it feeling, or is it getting irritated? If it feels better, you're gonna to continue to go until your fingers get tired. And after doing this for a few days, uh, or whatever time it is as it improves, your hands are gonna get tired. Sure. And you know, this is where, you know, if you happen to have you know, a massage gun, because a lot of the people who exercise are getting these, um, including Bob and I. We really like these. We have uh, our own our massage own, gun. Our own massage so gun. Have Bob and Brad right on it. Very high quality. Exactly. Do we need to say that? <laughs> well, we wouldn't put our name on right, it um, unless we had complete faith in it. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to... You're putting it at a high yeah, level. Yeah, this five has five speeds. levels. I'm going to go to level... Four. And they come with different heads yep. too. And he's got the round head yep. on there right now. There, and this is so much easier than, than with the yeah, fingers. Yeah. And you can work this longer time. It's nice is once you have a massage gun in the house, the whole family can use it. <laughs> yeah. uh, you can pass it around. And also you have it then for any problem that crops up. Exactly. And believe me, as you get older, they crop up. Yeah. Or if you're just an active family, I've got a friend, his son's in uh, hockey <laughs> and football and uh he's active and his wife uses it uh, but anyways you're gonna say well what do you do after it starts feeling better 
get back to your exercises, but back off on the intensity yeah. a lot, at least 50% or more to start with. You're going to take it on incrementally. So, like, yeah, you can go back to bench press, but might, you maybe just start with the bar. Yep. You know, 45 yep. pounds, I mean, or whatever you're using right. at the time. And the length of time. In my case for swimming, I used to swim usually 45 minutes to an hour. I'm going about 20 to 30 minutes now at a low sure. level, and I'm building up. I'm building so, up. You yep. bet. You, you can tell when it feels like it's getting strained, then you want to back off. Listen to your yeah. body. You got to respect it. So once again, Bob, we can fix just about anything except, except for, for a broken heart. But, but this is this is close. Getting close. Absolutely. We're in the area. We're, we're in the, we're we're in the neighborhood. Yeah, we're going to get a whole pamphlet on this, I'm thinking. And, you know, we'll see how it goes. All right. Thanks for watching.